Hello Rice, how are you? Have you had a good week? And we've only got one more week left until the Easter holidays and I hope that you are looking forward to that as much as I am too. But first of all, this week is a busy week for us as we remember the reasons why we celebrate Easter. And today is a really special day when we remember Jesus arriving in Jerusalem on a donkey. And you might know this story already, but this story is called the story of Palm Sunday, or we call today Palm Sunday, because it's the day that Jesus rode into Jerusalem on the donkey. Now, there's some videos for you below to watch. Um, you can choose which one. There's a nice Lego one, which I quite like. It's a bit funny as well. And there's a couple of other ones as well, if you don't fancy that. So it'd be great if you go and watch one of those and then come back and watch the rest of this. Now, I've heard the story of Palm Sunday so many times. I was brought up like a lot of you. I went to church when I was a child and I have been told the story of Palm Sunday probably every year for all my life. So I've probably heard it so many times. But I always learn new things and I always notice new things as well when I read my Bible and when I read about Palm Sunday and lots of other things as well. When you read your Bible, God will show you different things that he wants to teach you. So I'm just going to read you today the verses of Palm Sunday in the Gospel of Luke. Now this is in the New Testament because it's about Jesus. And if you want to read it in your Bible, it is Luke 19, verses 28 to um, 40, I'm going to read. And I'm going to explain to you what I want to point out to you when we've read this. So it says, after Jesus had said this, he went on ahead going up to Jerusalem. As he approached Bethage and Beth Bethany at the hill called the Mount of Olives, he sent two of his disciples saying to them, Go to the village ahead of you, and as you enter it, you will find a colt tied there, which is a donkey, which no one has ever ridden. Untie it and bring it here. If anyone asks you, why are you untying it? Say, the Lord needs it. Those who were sent ahead went and found it just as he had told them. As they were untying the colt, its owners asked, why are you untying the colt? They replied, the Lord needs it. They brought it to Jesus, threw their cloaks on the colt and put Jesus on it. As he went along, people spread their cloaks on the road. When he came near the place where the road goes down to the Mount of Olives, the whole crowd of disciples began joyfully to praise God in loud voices for all the miracles they had seen. Blessed is he, blessed is the king who comes in the name of the Lord. Peace in heaven and glory in the highest. And they waved palm branches like this. Some of the Pharisees in the crowd said to Jesus, Teacher, rebuke your disciples. I tell you, he replied, that's Jesus. If they keep quiet, the stones will cry out. And that's as far as I want to read for you today. But there's two things in this little passage that I just want to point out to you that I think are really important to us to remember, um, especially one of them this year as well. And the first one is about when the disciples went to go and get this donkey, the, the colt that Jesus told them to go and get. Now, a colt is a young donkey who had never been ridden before, so hadn't been trained to have people ride on it. And they went and Jesus said to them, tell them that, the Lord told you to do it. The Lord sent you. Tell the owners that. So he knew the owners were going to ask that. But I think if I was an owner of something and I saw someone untying my donkey, I'd be, I'd be quite cross. I'd be like, what do you think you're doing? You're stealing my donkey. But the disciples said, the Lord needs it. And they knew who Jesus was. They knew who, who the disciples meant, who the Lord was. And that shows how far, by this point, the name of Jesus had already spread. And the other thing that has really stuck and stood out to me this year, as I've read and listened to this passage, is the very last bit, when Jesus says, if they keep quiet, the stones will cry out. So if we don't praise Jesus, if we don't worship Jesus, the rocks will cry out, the stones will cry out. 
And I think especially in this last year when we've not been able to go to church or sing songs or do all those things that we do to praise and worship Jesus, we need to remember that we can still praise Jesus and worship him because if not, the rocks will cry out. Now that would be a bit strange if we started hearing rocks singing songs, but it means that to God, everything is worthy. Everything should be worshipping God. And that includes you as well. That includes you in your life, in everything that you do. You need to be worshipping God with all that you have and everything you do, even if that's going to school or playing with your friends or being at home with your family. It's really important that you worship God. Now we're going to pray and, um, yeah, let's pray first. So we're going to pray. Dear Jesus, thank you that you are the king. Thank you that we can say, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Thank you that we can worship you. And thank you that your name sp spread to so, so many places around the world. Thank you that you your fame is wide. Not because you're a pop star or anything like that, but because of all the marvellous things that you have done. Thank you that your word has spread. And Lord, thank you that we can praise you. Thank you that we can worship you. And if we didn't worship you, the rocks would, the flowers would, the, the trees would worship you. And help us to remember that that means it's really important for us to worship you with everything that we have. In Jesus' name, Amen. Now this afternoon is our Family Connect event and I really hope that you will be able to join us. You might have made a pack, uh, might have collected a pack from the church and in it you might have the things to make a palm leaf like this out of your own hand palms. So if you want to make a palm leaf for this afternoon, that would be great as well. Anyway, I'd love to see you guys soon and I hope to, that lots of you join in later. Take care now. Bye bye.